You won't see me, but I'm around To pick you up when you are down You're all alone, no one to phone So greetings from the phantom zone You won't see me, I'm never fun I'll be your lucky star I'll shine, make it fine all the time You won't see me when life's a drag I'll bang a drum and wave a flag You're feeling low, nowhere to go You've been stood up by Isn't it just wonderful? Mom? What character? What history? What a job. Ella, don't say that. No, you need to have vision. Mr. Hughes here is a builder. He'll tell you this place is bursting with potential. Mr. Hughes. What a dump. Ella, why don't you find your rabbit a nice place to stretch her legs while Mr. Hughes and I have a chat about the renovations, all right? But, Mom, no, I... off you go. Have fun and uh, don't break anything. Now, Mr. Hughes. Hop along. Uh, excuse me? Hop along. Hop along, Hughes. You can call me Hop along. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I'll try and make this as brief as possible. I don't want you to have to um, <laughs> stop along, hop along. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I, I just mean, no, forget it. Now, about the work. Uh, you want me to turn this into a hotel? Oh, absolutely. I have big plans. Just as well, I've left me reading glasses in the van. <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> What's this then? Itch. Why does it say itch? Oh no, that's kitchen look. Some of the letters must have washed off in the rain. Oh, bat wind. Uh, no, that's bathroom window. See? Ning ru. No, don't tell me. Ning ru. Dining room. <laughs> no, that does say Ning ru. Actually, it's the name of the architect. He's from Kuala Lumpur. Mum must be crazy to waste all her money buying this pile of old junk. What a tip. Yuck. Licky? Licorice, where are you? Come on, Licky, back in your box. It's the culmination of a dream, Mr. Hughes. Uh, hop along. <laughs> now, when this hotel flings open its doors, it'll be the greatest moment since I opened a Swan Hilda at the Runcorn Civic Centre. You what? I'm a ballet dancer. Well, I was a ballet dancer, but you know what it's like. There's a limit to how long one can keep up those pirouettes. You have to know when it's time to hang up that tutu. Tutu? True, Mrs. M. <laughs> <laughs> So, this is a fresh start, a new beginning, and a chance to spend a little more quality time with my daughter. Nikki! Here goes! Stop! Ella! Come here, you silly animal. What's up with you, then? You're shaking like you've seen a ghost. I've got three cards here. Can't you deal any flaming cards? What? One for you, one for me. Oh, Tristan, you're not so much a card shop as a card kicker. Hello? Is anyone there? Ah! Mom! Mom! What's the matter? You all right? There was this door. A strange little door. There were these lights. I definitely heard something. Well, that's just the way down to the crypt. There's nothing down there. I heard voices. People talking, arguing. No, it's impossible. Oh. Well, the estate agent told me that door's been sealed for years. It's just a, an old disused vault, see? Might make a nice wine cellar. No, I hadn't thought of that. Mom. Sorry, darling. Well, it was probably the thunder and lightning that spooked you. But no, the rain stopped. It's time to go. Come on, come on. Gucci, 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 Gucci. Oh, hi. Hop along. Morning, Mrs. M. Oh, it looks wonderful. 
Where's my camera? Camera. Um, any chance of a little word? Oh, hang on, I must get a picture of all this. I don't think this should wait. Say cheese. Uh, Caffilly. Oh! Mrs Mendelssohn, this is important. We really need to talk. Oh, Nicky, not again. Can I crash? I don't understand. Me neither. But every day it's something new. Strange little accidents, tools going missing, weird sounds. I tell you straight, this place gives me the right heebie-jeebies. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad. Oh, believe me, it is. Every time you put something down, it's gone. B brand new water pipes suddenly spring leaks. Tiles crack, fuses blow, scaffolding comes tumbling down. Well, you have to expect the odd gremlin in the works. It must be some flaming strong gremlin to heave half a dozen sacks of quick grind cement down the loo. What exactly are you trying to say? Do you believe in the... supernatural? <laughs> what do you mean? Ghosties and ghoulies and things that go bump in the night? You shouldn't mock Mrs M. Me and the lads think there's something very queer about this place and we don't like it. One more bit of bother and we're out of that door faster than an otter with an outboard motor. Oh, hop along, please. This is ridiculous. I assure you, this building isn't haunted. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Ah! Ah! What is it? What's happened, Tony? Sid? I've had it with this place, Hoppy. I've had it up to here. Well, what is it this time? Well, here I was working away, happy as laddies, talking to Tony about last night's coronation street. But what happened? Well, dear, 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 are we killing them? No! What's happened here? Oh, it was all over in a flash. Cut, sliced through, chopped in half. See? See? It's just the cable this time. Next time it could be... <sighs> I'll tell you, there is some serious weirdness uh. going on here. <laughs> Maybe it's something to do with those sounds I heard coming from the old crypt. I'm sure there was someone down there. Look, not that again. Please, Ella, stay out of this, hmm? Hey! Licky! She was chewing at the wires, bless her. I'm sorry, she's always doing that. Nibbling away at anything she can get her teeth into. What did I say? Perfectly rational explanation. Nothing spooky, nothing scary, and nothing to be afraid of. Ah, oh, oh, but it's oh, a oh, bonus oh, oh. Tony, Sid, hop along. Now come back, it's okay. No! Scaring people, right? With a mug like yours, you should be used to it by now. Hey! Do calm down, laddie. You can't help having a fizz like the back end of the Prince Regent's bulldog. Exactly. Oh, yes. Well, I reckon that last little stunt did a trick. They were shaking like trifles on a trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> Odds, Bodkins, I'd be glad when we had the place to ourselves again. What? I kind of like having folk around. Look, are we gassing or are we playing? Well, he needs the boys, to you better stop calling me the boy. I've been here 1,500 years. I'm over a 1,000 years older than you, says Squiffington. Pretty accept my most compunctious lamentations. I'll rephrase that. It's the feeble-minded poltroon, Stan. That's better. Well, Mr. Kneecaps, do you have Master Bun, the baker's son? Threat! Oh, ain't he a cute little fella? <laughs> I hate this rotten game. I hate it. I really, really hate it! As soon as we get shot at those flesh and bone busybodies upstairs, I'm gonna get us a ping pong table. <laughs> Do you have Miss Dentures, the dentist's daughter? What? Odds my life! We have a snoop in the coop. God blimey! We've been rumbled! OK, I've had a word with the lads and I reckon an extra £10 a week will keep them sweet. 
Excellent. And no more silly talk about ghosts, eh? There are no ghosts. This is a spook-free sight. Mama! <laughs> so it's back to work then, eh? Mom! I'll tell the lads to get a wiggle on. <laughs> Marvellous. Wonderful. Everything's hunky-dory. Mom! How am I going to afford to pay them extra wages? Mom. But at least they're on the job. At least they're working again. Mom, I've just seen three ghosts. What? What are you trying to do to me? Mm -hmm. but... Shush! Will you? I've only just talked that lot into staying. If one more thing freaks them out, it's bye-bye builders. Hasta la vista hotel. But it's true. Down the crypt, I saw them. You saw nothing. There is nothing to see. Now, will you please stop all this nonsense? I see cobwebs. I see dust. I do not see ghosts. What? There were. I don't understand. Look, darling, we're all under a lot of stress. Now, all this, it, it, it's not been easy. Now, I, I really believe you think you saw them. I did see them. I did. They were down there, large as life, playing cards. Look, I am trying hard here, Ella. I have a million problems to deal with. Builders, money. Ghosts, I do not need. Thank you very much. But I That's get... enough. I don't want to hear another word about it, okay? Now, what do you think for the bathroom curtains, hmm? Highland Heather or Pomeranian Pink, hmm? Okay. Come out. I know you're in here. There's no point hiding. I've already seen you. Ghosts? Scared to face up to a ten-year-old girl? What a bunch of yellow belly whips. Oi! Watch you, you call it names, you little gumboil. No one talks like that to kneecap smoke nugget. Well, go on then. What are you waiting for? Eh? Do your stuff. Scare me. I dare you. Listen up, lollipop. Well, what's up? Chicken McNugget. <laughs> Chicken McNugget. Mary Stroll, <laughs> mistress. Mary Stroll. Shut it, smarty pants! I think it's really nasty the way you try to spook everyone like that. Well, we as ghosts, ain't we? What are we supposed to do? <laughs> that is so sad. And you know what? You don't frighten me one little bit, mister. <laughs> Come on, that tickle. Help me out here, lads. <laughs> Pathetic. Is that the best you can do? I've been more terrified watching Scooby-Doo. You should be ashamed of yourselves, picking on innocent people. My dear young fly in the ointment, you are dealing with Eddie, kneecaps, McNugget, the rotheride rock foiler. No, nothing ever stopped Eddie McNugget except the bullet at the St. Swithin's Day Slaughter. Yeah? Well, you're dealing with Ella Grace Mendelssohn, stroppy schoolgirl from Stratton. And nothing's gonna stop me, Mr. McNugget, especially you. Look, by the time we're finished with you, you'll be pleading to leave this place, Princess. All this bellicosity and bickering, Mistress Ella. Have compassion. It's no fault of my companions and I that we find ourselves in this precarious predicament. Each of us died, then, for reasons unknown, found ourselves stuck here in this boring little backwater, possibly till the end of time itself. Penguin's right. We may be lumbered in limbo, but it's our limbo, and you've got no place in it, sweetheart. Hey, I've got a cushy idea. Oh, mm -hmm. congratulations. And only 900 years since the last one. Why don't we continue living down here? You and your ma live upstairs. We wouldn't bother you, you wouldn't bother us, and everything would be kind of neat, wouldn't it? You call this great steam up. What are you burbling on about? Stiffing idea, Tristan. I think the young chaplet has hit the pin on the periwig. You what? Sounds good to me. All in favor, say aye. 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 Brilliant. I'll go and tell Mum the good news. Are you? Come here! Come here! <laughs> Mom, are you 
think? Maybe a tad too flowery. Mom, it's all right. I talked to them. They've promised to stay down in the crypt out of the way. If we promise to leave them alone. Sorry, what's that? Who are we talking about here? The ghosts. Oh, the ghosts. It's okay. They won't bother us if we don't bother them. Well, uh, that's lovely, dear. Just as long as they stay out of my hair. They gave me their word. Well, the word of your little phantom friends is good enough for me. Thanks, Mum. I knew you'd understand. I've spoken to the ghosts. That girl has some wild imagination. So don't you step on my blue suede hose. You can push me in the moat. Don't step on my blue suede hose. Tristan! Oh, back to the crypt. Anu, anu. Hurry! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Tristan Shout has left the building. Who were you talking to? Was it the man from the council? No, he's not here yet. We're never going to pass this inspection. The place is a tip. He'll shut us down before we even open. Everything looks great. He'll be really impressed. I promise you. <gasps> Look! A fingerprint. Mom, please. You've been up all <gasps> night cleaning and polishing. Give it a rest. Yes, you're right. This is madness. First, I have to wash this hanky. Oh. I'm just baking some bread. What? But, Mom, you don't do cooking. Yes, well, this is different. I read in a magazine that the uh, aroma of freshly baked bread creates a friendly and harmonious atmosphere. It's bound to impress him, you know. Yes, well, fingers crossed you not have a blocked up nose, eh? Ella! Ella! Get this, this animal out of my reception area. Oh, no. Oh, it's him. It's him. And look at the state of me. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's okay. I'll let him in. You go and get changed. Right. The rabbit. The rabbit. Snipe, Environmental Health Office, looking for a, uh, a Mrs. Mendelssohn. Hi, I'm Ella. Mum will be down in a minute. Well, I'd like to get cracking. I have a pet shop full of cuddly kittens to shut down by ten o'clock. Ah, where would you like to begin? I'll start in the kitchen. I find a horrid kitchen is a sign of a horrid hotel. Well, you had nothing to complain about here, Mr. Snipe. <laughs> That'll be the day. Follow me. Yep. You must come and see the uh, shower. See what? You know, they say, shabby shower, shabby hotel. No, 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 no. This is ridiculous. How long do we have to stay stuck down here, like moles in a flaming hole? Miss Ella told us to keep right out the way while the council fella's doing his inspection. <sighs> Pen pushing, busybody. Hey, hey. <laughs> Why don't we go upstairs? and put a wind up his kilt, terrifying him to cough it up a certificate. Mm -mm, we're promised. Tristan, at times, you're a proper party pooper. I'm with you, kneecaps, old bean. Or haunting we shall go. <laughs> Tally-ho! You've been outvoted, kiddo. Lead on, McNugget. There's serious spooking to be done. Oh. And it's Door nozzle for the whole variety of settings. Fascinating, I'm sure. Excuse me, you know, I just need to. Uh, hey, hang about! What are you doing here? I told you a million times, no one must ever see you. I've only come to get that council burke off your back. I don't need your help. Everything's perfectly under control. What's going on out there? Sorry, yeah. the door seems to be stuck. Hang on. Please, you have to go now, before Mum comes... It's OK, Ella. I... I... Ah! What's happening out there? Mum... Uh, everything's fine. Nothing to be frightened of. Stay calm. Calm? They... 
they were g g The word is ghosts, madam. Ghosts. <laughs> they won't hurt you. They're a bunch of pussycats. Oi! Who you call it a pussycat? Pleased to meet you, Mom. I don't believe this. My hotel is infested with phantoms. I told you about them weeks ago. You said it was okay as long as they stayed out of your hair. And to tell the truth, madam, we never so much as tiptoed through your tresses. Ella, I'll deal with you later, but for now, get this, this gruesome bunch of zombies out of here. Oh, charming. Come on, lads. And stay out of my hotel, you monstrous gargoyles. <laughs> Snipe. Snipe? Do you mind? Oh. Uh, madam. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I was just... Uh, come and see my lovely, lovely kitchen. No, no oh, way! It's all right, darling. I can handle this. Oh. I think you're going to like what you see. <laughs> Mrs. Mendelssohn. I need to inspect that kitchen. Oh, and so you shall, Mr. Snyder. Right. So you shall. But first, come and have another look at that shower attachment. What? Get oh, that lock oh, cleaned oh, up and hurry. But... <laughs> Take a squint at that superb routine. Back in a tick. Oh, Ella. I'm sorry. The best I can do. We need more hands. No, we don't have more hands. What about the ghosts? <laughs> what are you crazy? It's our only hope. You are crazy. They're really friendly when you get to know them. Please, trust me, they'll help us. Help you? After what you called us? What did she call us? Do you mean a gruesome bunch of zombies? Or yeah, monstrous gargoyles? Oh, dear, dear. She didn't mean it. You didn't mean it, did you, Mum? She's really friendly when you get to know her. Say you're sorry. Mum? Oh, you won't read. Oh, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realise you spectres were so sensitive. There. Now, please, please, please help us to clear up that kitchen. OK, lads. These ladies need our assistance, and our assistance they shall have. Let's do it! Yes. <laughs> Come on, Snipey. You can do it. <laughs> oh, yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Snipe. Hello. Mrs. Mendelssohn. Goodbye. No, don't go. You haven't finished your inspection. I haven't started yet. All you've shown me so far is the wretched nozzle on that rotten old shower attachment and some grouting. You haven't seen our kitchen yet. That is not for want of trying. Oh, but it's worth the wait. I doubt that. Please. Look, I have things to do. Pretty please. With sprinkles of sparkly sugar on top. <laughs> oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> uh, let me guess. You're not going to let me in again? Of course we're going to let you ah. in. Ella? The bathroom tiles are nice too, aren't they? D Ella? <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? Huh? Well? Very nice, Mrs. Mendelssohn. Oh, spotless, hygienic. <laughs> is that, is that bread? I can smell bacon. Uh, well, I am amazed to say that your hotel has passed the inspection with flying colours. Yes. <laughs> it only remains for me to write you out. Kneecaps. What did you say? Kneecaps. Kneecaps. Yes. An old ballet injury. Oh. Uh, don't mind me. You carry on. Yeah, well, I have the papers in here. Hey. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 